We had some video from Mo just a little bit ago. He was live and this creek was just mm -hmm. rolling over Rushing. a bridge there. You got to be careful. Yeah, a lot of them are running high. We had so much rain Sunday, so much rain yesterday. And guys, we're not done with that rain just yet. We still have another 24 hours to get through with rain coming down across the area. Thankfully today, the rain looks to be lighter and not as heavy as what we saw for our Thursday. Weather kid for this Friday is Bryson Dennis. He's got his umbrella handy. Good idea for everyone. Everybody, if you're going to be out and about, whether you're heading back to work or you're just running some errands this Friday, you'll need the rain gear. Steady rainfall this morning, but coming scattered into the afternoon. Temperatures making it to the 50s. Hey, Storm Shield will be a great tool to have if you will be out today. It will give you updates if we do get any additional flood warnings or flood advisories on any of our creeks and streams. Watching the Cumberland River closely, that's where Blake Rosnowski has been all morning. Also, Stones River and Donaldson in action stage and under a flood advisory as well. A couple of other new flood advisories. Richland Creek near Pulaski is getting close to flood stage. It's expected to get just below it as it continues to rise with this rainfall. Also watching Shoals Creek in Lawrence County. Uh, that's closer to Iron City there where it is also running pretty high. Looking live in Gallatin, we have rain coming down. Clearly can see here that roads are wet. That's the case all across the area. Wet roads looking live in Lebanon at their roundabout as well in the 50s right now actually held pretty steady in the lower 50s over the last 12 hours or so. Steady rainfall happening across the area with some pockets of more moderate rain towards our south and west. This is where we've seen on and off heavier rainfall all morning long. Seeing another batch of that starting to develop around Decatur County and into Perry County just north of Waynesboro. It's coming down just a little bit harder than everywhere else. In Nashville, no heavy rain, but light showers encompassing the entire metro area, 65, 24, 40. They're all going to be wet for you as you walk out the door. Here's exact track and notice we slowly start to improve throughout the day. It doesn't look completely dry, but it's not as widespread and heavy as what we have been seeing. Three o'clock look for passing showers across the area that continues throughout the rest of your Friday night. Cold front swings through during the overnight period and it looks like we will still have a little bit of lingering moisture there during the afternoon and evening on Saturday. If cold air can get here quick enough, we may even see that transition briefly over to a wintry mix 59 today overnight tonight scattered light showers continue only around 40 during the afternoon tomorrow with temperatures falling another key part to our forecast is that we will see a stiff northwesterly wind that is going to make it feel very cold hey have to talk about the titans versus the patriots they are looking at a very cold rain as they are up in new england tomorrow playing at, on news channel 5 at 7 15 is kickoff Sunday looking at partly cloudy skies around 52 and much better conditions. Here's our weather artist today comes to us from Carroll Oakland Elementary School. Ruby Hilton drew this beautiful picture of a snowman.